In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create um, organizational units in Active Directory with PowerShell. So once we're done, your Active Directory will look like this. I find this the easiest way to do bulk entries like this. So I'm going to have a column named name and then another one named path. This is going to be organized by state. So say if your business has multiple locations in different states, that's how I'm going to organize this one. So I'm just going to copy and paste Ohio into Michigan and then do a find and replace. Um, this seems to be the easiest way for me. So the path is going to specify where you want these organizational units to be created at. There's a few ways to go about organizing your Active Directory. Um, you have to look at the design in the company and what works best for them. I'm just going to save this on my desktop here and then open it with Notepad so that way I could just copy and paste it over to my server. So now that I'm on my server, I'm just going to paste that into Notepad. So you can see here the name and the path, uh, the same how it looked in Excel. I'm just going to save this to my desktop as ou.csv. So now I'm just going to open up Active Directory. Um, all these are in here by default. So now I'm just going to open up PowerShell. So this line of code here is going to create a new organizational unit. Um, this one's going to be named state. And this is the path that I want it in. So I'm just going to go ahead and click run at the top here. So I'm just going to open up Active Directory and do a refresh to verify that my organizational unit is there. So now I'm going to paste this script in here. Um, this is what's going to pull from that CSV file. This line right here is the location of my CSV file and I have mine stored on my desktop. So this script is going to create all those organizational units and it's going to create them in the path that we specified. So I'm going to go ahead and click run at the top. And then I'm going to go ahead and open Active Directory and do a refresh. And I'm going to expand underneath state and you can see everything that we had specified in that CSV file here.